Hi guys, welcome back to the BMW Guy YouTube channel and today I'm going to be discussing the best bits about the N47 engine, the November 47. Um, so if you've googled this engine at all, if you're looking to buy one or if you own one, you're probably um, well aware that this engine has quite a bad reputation online, um, in the forums, um, in the media etc. And that was because of the timing chain failure problem, um, which was caused by the long service intervals. Um, However, there's a lot of them about this engine that lies under the radar. Um, a lot of people don't talk about it. Um, and there's a lot of good things and benefits of this engine, provided that you look after it. So um, in today's video, we're going to be discussing those. Um, the first bit is that the engine is fantastically... Um, it gives you a fantastic blend of performance and economic and economy. Um, so essentially, this in this variant here is a 120D. Um, it produces 177 PS um, from the factory, uh, which is good for 0 to 60 on this for about seven and a half seconds. Um, but what it also gives you is 45 miles per gallon on, around town and um, 60 plus on a motorway journey, uh, which is just awesome, really. Uh, this car pulls really nicely through all the gears. Um, it's quite a, a versatile engine. Um, later, mod later versions of this engine has made 190 brake horsepower from the factory. Um, I've seen them tuned up to well over 250 on stock internals um, with just sort of remaps and intercoolers, etc. So they they can handle a good bit of power. Um, and what they what they give you is a nice little package in terms of a daily runabout uh, where you've got enough power to overtake things um 60 to 100 miles an hour is really really strong on these cars if you're trying to overtake something so it just makes that life your life so much easier in that regard um and also when you want to throw it down a back road um especially in the one series e87 or e8x chassis um it just really gives you a brilliant experience so uh yeah that is that is number one um number two is going to be how easy this engine is to work on so this is my first bmw it's a 2007 bmw one series um and the m47 engine was sort of um my first engine that i've really really got into doing diy stuff on um, before this i had a nc 2007 mazda mx5 sport um which was a two litre engine um fantastic little engine 160 brake horsepower um really really reliable and bomb proof essentially um but i didn't actually do that much work on that car myself um because i was i was 17 my dad basically i was, I was nervous of doing it so um it got into that sort of paying for the dealer to do everything but uh, with this car i've actually had the only thing i've had done at a garage um is the shock absorbers and the first service when i bought it um just because i was going on a long trip and i wanted to make sure it was serviced beforehand as it had missed the previous service so um yeah so essentially this engine was my first um introduction to the diy bmw ownership and um it's been easy um if i'm honest i've changed the air filter i've changed the oil multiple times um i've changed uh coolant fluids everything like that um it's just a nice accessible engine to work on uh, it doesn't require any sort of specialist tools you've got a screwdriver here um but the rest of it sort of just all clips together which is really nice this pipe here i replaced with no tools whatsoever just my hands um and just stuff like removing the engine cover um working on the car checking various things like the engine coolant as well so easy um and it's all just right there for you you've got a nice big um, easy to fill washer bottle as well um, and it just makes so much sense everything in the engine bay it's just sort of where you naturally put it so um yeah that's that's another big bonus for this engine is that it's nice and easy to work on and there's a lot of people um who will offer you advice free of charge on forums etc um on how to work on these engines um i personally use a haynes manual um which basically has everything you'd ever want to know uh, about the e8x1 series you can buy them for all the bmw models but uh essentially yeah they give you everything that you need to know in it um the second one is going to be the uh running costs uh like i said it's really cheap to um uh, it's really good on fuel um 60 up to 60 mpg on a run uh, which just makes it nice and easy um to justify doing long journeys um 
when you look at servicing costs as well if you're willing to do it yourself you can do an oil change for under 60 quid um the filter for this i think was like 15 quid um i'm about to change the oil filter which was 12 pounds um so, uh, sorry the fuel filter which was 12 pounds oil filter i think just just about nine pounds so um if you're willing to do it yourself uh, then these engines are very very cheap to maintain um and will reward you for that um so yeah um in terms of the issues that people talk about with the timing chain um i would argue that actually it's it's there are other cars with this issue that um don't receive such a bad rap um i think that's just purely because the bmw forums etc are much more vocal about their issues but um yeah these these engines are fairly good and solid if you look after them correctly um so if you change royal um every between seven and ten thousand miles uh you shouldn't really have any issues whatsoever with the timing change timing change stretches um so uh yeah that's it guys um let me know if you've had any issues with your um if these cars go by if you've had any issues with your m47 engine let me know what mileage you're on this one's just over um, 103,000. we've just ticked over now after a little long road trip so um yeah thanks for watching guys Stay tuned for plenty more BMW content and I'll see you next video. Cheers.